Another massive game coming back today. Welcome back to Palace Mad Mason. Welcome back to the channel. Today is the vlog for Crystal Palace against Everton. Now, Crystal Palace during the week have been boosted with the return of Michael Elise. He is available for selection and even better news, Ebere Eze has signed a new contract for Palace long term until 2027. It's good. That's, that, that is absolutely brilliant. He's our best player. Um, so it's brilliant that he's on a new contract. However, today is be is being focused on progression because we're at home to a 16th place Everton side who have done all right lately. You know they got a one all draw at home to Brighton, uh, beat Brentford recently as well, uh, beat Burnley. They're through to the quarter final with the League Cup as well. So you know they are having a a decent season, better than their previous seasons under Sean Dyche. Um, so it is going to be quite a tough game today, I'm expecting. But 10th place Palace, I'm expecting a win today. It's a, Again, it's a massive run. So let's see how we get on. Come on, Palace, let's get the set last. <laughs> Okay, here at Salas Park in the lovely scarf. We've got Johnson in nets, usual back four of Joel Ward, Gahey, Joachim Anderson and uh, Tyrek Mitchell. No Ducore, he's on the bench. Um, I think that's the first time since he signed in 2022 that um, Ducore uh, is on the bench. We've got Lerma and Hughes starting as the two CDMs. Uh, Schlupp on the left, Eze making his first start for a while. Uh, Ayu on the right with Edouard up front. Ducore and Elise both on the bench from firepower, but to bring off the bench for once. Well, that must be a goal inside the first minute. Nikolenko, 1-0. I've no words. What a start! What a start in this game. Three minutes in and it looks like we've got a penalty to make it 1-1. It's going to go far. It's going to go far, 100%. Eze went down. Come on, Palace. Come on, massive chance. Looks like the penalty's been given. It's going to be Eze against Jordan Pickford. This for 1 1 and the first goal this end of this season. Well, since 1-1, one, one, we have been very good. Can the VAR check for a penalty? as has been booked for diving. Oh, it's not good to be fair. Ooh. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Takora is just... Oh! Jesus. Well, Decora kicked Gay in the head there. If that, um, if that chance does show we needed a striker, then I don't know what does. Edwards put on goal, has got about 10 yards over the centre back, and the centre back's caught up before he shot. Oh, what a chance for 2 1. No real opportunities um, since the equaliser, really. Um, one for Eze, where he, where he dived and it booked. He got booked. He keeps diving in, to be fair. I won't be surprised if he's taken off earlier than we thought he would be. Massive round of applause for Michael Elisa as well, because uh, he's come back from a long injury. So, 
Yeah, it's been fairly okay. There's wild shot, should have been an easy save for Pickford, but he dropped it and it's gone out for a Palace corner. Well, half time here at Sellers Park, Palace 1, Everton 1. Um, you know what? Not too bad. All, both goals come in the first three to four minutes. A great event from the start to this game. Since then, chances have been quite limited, I'd say. Um, but I'd say we were the better side for the majority of that first half. One thing I will say about the second half is I do think that Eze is going to be subbed off quite early. Because um, he's on a booking already. He was a scare away from getting a second yellow and being sent off completely. So I think Palace will edge this, I do, because we have been good. And hopefully in the second half, at least they'll come on and show Everton who's boss. I'm not coming. Everton back in front, Abdullah Decore. What a strike from Nikolenko. Hit the post, come to Decore, and it's 2-1. Uh, Possible shouts for offside, but we'll see. I think you looked onside. Losing by Lee we need something out of this game. This is a game that we must get points out of. Edward Ford! At the back post! He's been really bad all game. But he scored a vital goal in this game. Crystal Palace 2. Everton 2. I don't think Vars going to check that one. He looked onside to me. He's holding it. He's holding it. He's holding it. This is taking way too long. He's going to disallow it. He's going to disallow it. He's taking way too long. Oh my god. And let me hurry. Important goal that could be. They've got a corner and a sound for this one. Um, so yeah, 2-2. Two, two. Obviously I'd love three points out of this game, but at least it's been a brilliant impact since coming on. Referees um, pause the corner coming in for some reason. But I've got to say, it's been, it, was, it was a really good equaliser from that one. Even though he hasn't been great in this game, um, so here we go, corner in from Eze. In. Oh, I thought Ayu was up for that corner. Oh. Mitchell's passed it off the pitch. Well, Edward have got a significant equaliser is off from the Teta. Not the best of performances, but a very well taken equaliser. Can Palace find the late winner? Break both his legs. What is that defending? Adrisa Garner Gay has scored. We're coming away with nothing here. Eight minutes of added time. Um, Palace going to put the ball into the box. It's going to be Eze to take this. Just defending, it's not good enough at all. Um, it's going to be Eze to take this. Um, is he going to put this in the box now? Come on. Here we go. As a terrible ball into the box. Well done, Mitchell. Elise. Anderson on the right for some reason. Out for a Palace throw. Game over. Must win game. Bottled.